in a mission that was supposed to be just eight days and has turned into eight months. NASA announcing yesterday that the Boeing spacecraft will return to Earth this week. However, the crew who has been stranded won't be on board. If all goes according to plan, Starliner will end its three-month journey Saturday morning just across state lines in New Mexico. NASA said Starliner will undock from the International Space Station and set course for White Sands Space Harbor. The space the craft will leave behind astronauts Suni Williams and Butch Wilmore. Starliner's first crew trip to space did not go as planned due to thruster trouble and helium leaks. Do is look at the things that, that didn't perform the way we expected, like I talked about the helium leaks. Can we go fix those leaks, test those on the ground, and have confidence to move forward and fly again? And the same thing with the thrusters. Uh, we know the thrusters are working well when we don't command them in a manner that overheats them and, and gets the poppet to swell on the oxide. Well, NASA said making the decision to bring back the spacecraft without its crew was a difficult one to make, but with the engineering issues, it was too risky to chance. Williams and Wilmore are now waiting to board a Dragon spacecraft with the SpaceX Crew-9 mission. The launch of that mission is currently scheduled for later this month. And of course, you can watch a live stream of Starliner landing on our website, ktsm.com. It's 6.30.